is fun. So tonight we're going to talk a little bit about what's winning the reach test right now. Like right now. Like out of all the vapes, current, old, whatever. What are we reaching for? What are we really reaching for? Yeah, and we talked about what that meant, and the reach test was like the final say in it. For me, it's what do I really want to use? What do I use? What I have a couple here that I, I like rarely use, but I look at them and I go, why not? They're actually really good vapes. It's almost like I forget about them. You know what I mean? But I pulled them out anyhow because they deserve to be acknowledged in that sense. I was trying to hit different categories and different needs because because I'm not overlapping, but I, got, I ended up with 15 vapes, man. Holy fuck, bro. I'm going to get high tonight. <laughs> I'm not going to use them all, but <laughs> we're going to use plenty of them. Oh, wow. No. That's funny. I grabbed some vapes and then I proceeded to lose them i need to leave the room and figure out where i left them that's pretty funny and then do you, do you need to go do it now or no where I, do you I, go? Well, if we start with desktops i have my desktops here right on that'd be easy because for me there's just a couple so that'd be a good category to have fun with. yeah yeah what, what i know i know that you hit the herborizer earlier and yeah. I, even if you hadn't hit it earlier i knew that would be yeah. like in your if you're just gonna vape if you want to vape and chill yeah. Uh, that's one of your favorites. Tell us why. Tell us why the Herborizer always is one that you come back to. For me, the only thing it doesn't do is it doesn't ball vape. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just doesn't ball vape. And I don't always want to ball vape, Is it? so that's fine with me. In fact, it turns out I want to ball vape less frequently than I don't. So for me, a ball vape is more of the occasional as opposed to this thing. Yeah, yeah, okay, good. So I'm gonna talk about this as we build up on that, but- Minutes, okay. For nah, not that long, but okay, no, but I was just saying that I didn't even get to why. First of all, it's classy as fuck. Other than the fact that mine's looks like a butt ass color because of how much I use it. This is just a dope system. It's exactly the size I want. The reason I don't stick with all these fuck vapes, the ones we're doing, all the Bobby, plugging into the fucking controllers, all those, the reason I don't use those is because it's always a long ass fucking handle. And I'm so used to having something nice, very ergonomic. And I love the stand that it sits on. I don't want to pick it up too much because the glass is hot, but here's the stand. And so imagine this with really clean glass and then it would sit like that. Use your imagination, everybody. It's usually my type of shit, Jerry. Usually I'm the one that's like, hey, I got the dirty shit. You got to right. use your imagination. Oh, but anyhow, it's all glass and titanium. And there's probably three main reasons why I love this. One is the taste. The taste is fucking insane i love it when you use it correctly it's as good as anything i've ever tasted the second thing is that glass bowl is fun to vape in uh, i've i watched i've watched probably thousands of bowls in there and learned so much about vaporizing just by watching it happen and fucking with different things and figuring things out and I, I know why and when and how things scorch and i can watch and feel before it's gonna happen and learn when to pull back by feel so when i'm in a titanium bowl it's, just, it's a fucking great environment to build your skills and understanding of what's going on in vaporizing so for me it really pulled me in and next thing i know this is what i use to to really get into some contemplations and really do a lot of personal growth as i pull this because this vape pulls me into the session and really makes me focus and gets me in the moment makes me present or helps me be present again tons of bowls and with this in a spiritual way i have a bond with this fucking vape man so the last vape to, to knock this one off for a while was a freight train. My favorite ball vape's a freight train. And it was on here for a good couple of months. And then one day I pulled this out, I don't remember why, and I was like, oh, I forgot. And it really is different. The ball vapes, that, that's a different seek, man. I was seeking that for a long time, and I'll get back to it again, because everything goes back and forth on the pendulum. But those things smack hard, and, and for me, I'm skipping over some steps that I really enjoy with something that'll slow it down a little bit for me. Okay. Yeah, because the herborizer has a little more open airflow, but if you hit it fast and hard, like you hit a, a ball of vape, you kind of overpower the heat transfer of the herborizer's heater. It's got a, it's got yeah. a big, thick, heavy titanium heater. It holds a ton. It heats up nice, but if you pull from it too quickly, you're just not giving the air enough time to pull the heat from the metal. And Jerry said the that big bowl on the herborizer with that large window you'd think it's it's suboptimal because it's far away from the heat but it actually works really well with the herborizer it allows the heat to mingle kind of swirl and mingle so it roasts really evenly at that distance and with that window you can watch both your weed roast as well as your concentrate so if you put like a hash topper on your bowl 
and that nipple of the titanium heater sits real close to the hash. So you get like a radiant preheat. So you're getting radiant preheat from the herbizer, melting that hash, and then the convection from the slow draw. It's a, it's a really wonderful vaporizer. It's classy as hell and tasty as hell. Oh. And I can get as big a hit as I want. I can turn it up. You, when you use it, you turn it up beyond anything I've ever used it before to, to, to try. Because I want to hit it fast because I like, I have large lungs and I don't want to take draws super long to fill my lungs. Like I want to be able to hit it hard and fast. Cheers. Cheers. Show us Troy. That's what we're talking about. And that's what you're witnessing right there, folks, is what I would call right up there, man, like that we've been chasing that for years. A hit that feels like a bong rip when you're smoking. Not feels like it has the density and the impact on your high. It'll fuck you up. And that's right on the edge with Troy pushing it there. Now that is, is, that is the scorching that I try to avoid. For Troy, he, <laughs> he wants that. And believe me, the impact is, really that's how scorched. you get an intense hit. I call it's it not, scorch. It, yeah, but compared to how far I could push it without combusting, I could scorch it significantly more. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You get to the char area there, man. You know, you, there's a whole gradient there. I don't want any of it when I'm doing this. There's times when I, I'm fine with it. Like I really want... Troy, what's great about it is you can do that, and then that's when you get that fucked up punch to the face, man. Like, when those things get that color, motherfucker. When new people hit that, they their first response is usually... That hits like a dab. Yeah, exactly. As they're like wiping the tears from their face and with the sweat yeah. from their forehead. It's fucking dope, man. And it does. And, it was, and you can get through it all in one thing. Like when that was perfect for me, Troy, was in my El Nino days, because at that point in time, I really, there was one, there was two things I was looking for. And one of the things was I want to pull everything out of it in one hit. I don't want to sit there and nurse this fucking thing. I want to crush it. And that's exactly what those things do for you, man. I wish I'd had them like five years ago. I actually have, I have I a fan six. blowing on my B0 yeah. right now. So it's probably running a little bit cooler than usual. Good or bad? It's fine. But I did notice that it was a little bit less powered than that hit. It's got, it got warm. It got warm these last couple of days. I think I, I mentioned that already. Right I, actually, I, I had to pull my fan out of my grow tent here and put it on me. Fuck the plants. The Girl. plants can go a day without the fan. Gonna... I'm going to put the fan on me. Uh, but the, fan, you... the fan's also blowing on my E-nail and the B0. And the B0 is the one that wins my day-to-day -day desktop reach test. Right on. For the longest time, I really thought it was going to be the B2, but the B0 is really what won it. It's not nearly as classy as the Herborizer. The Herborizer looks classy as fuck. The B0 looks industrial. It's got some cool colors, but it's got exposed coil, top screen. You've got my favorite handle on it. I'm so scared of burning myself on this thing because I recently burned myself on this thing. Yeah. There's a little burn update, by the way. Oh, no, thank you. Go right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Ooh. But this thing is just a, a titanium tube that fits into a glass injector bowl or a wood injector bowl or whatever your injector bowl is. It's got a, a mounted screen on top and bottom. Holds four mil or three mil rubies. I like it with three millimeter rubies. Because of my hit style, I take bigger hits, longer hits. I want there to be more power and the three mil offers more power and more restriction the four mil is more open but also easier to overpower if you inhale a little too fast with the three mil it's a little nicer of a sweet spot i think and the best performance you so like that airflow better than the b2 i do well it's, if i were to compare them i would say that the airflow is pretty much the same so here's a fresh bowl I may not look so, fresh because so why that one like purple green colored what i was wondering too why that one over the b2 <laughs> because this one Careful, this one's sorry. small and it, when i'm using it it feels uh, like scalpel like i can hold it with two fingers and feels secure in my hand 
with the B2. I'm gonna pull this the B2 up here real quick. The B2 is heavier. It's got a lot more mass to it, and it doesn't feel as agile in the hand. It feels a lot more significant. It feels mm -hmm. chunk it on that bowl, make sure it's seated. Chunk it on its and its housing, make sure it's seated. But also the stone from it is ultimately what made me go back because when I did the side by side reach test recently with the B2 and the B0 vaping the same weed I'd have a bowl with the B0 and I'd be like yeah fucking cool going on with my day and then I had a, a bowl with the B2 and it, it like curb stomped me like I had to go take a nap <laughs> you know the one in your right hand yeah the B2 because the B2 okay. has, has the shovel head bowl it sits over that titanium hmm. bowl it has all that conduction it, get, it gets a lot more extraction and the higher temp extraction like with that well, hydro heating that was something i was going to ask you is do you use the b2 with any glass bowls i currently don't i don't care for that experience but you're using it right there with a glass bowl Because to me, the biggest difference between those is the bowl. You know what I'm saying? Like the, when I use the B2, I don't have any glass bowls I can use it with. Everything's concealed, whether it's wood, titanium, fuck that. Whereas the B0 falls right into all my glass bowls that I already use. I fucking love that. I use the B2 with the shovel head bowl. Titanium, can't see in, right on. I didn't, but titanium bowl's on the shelf. I can, I can show you. No, I know what it is. I'm just saying, but with the B0, you're always using a glass bowl. Yeah. And, but you don't like, uh, you don't like a glass bowl with the B2 because it's one of those outside grabbers. That's what you don't like about it. Yes. Okay. Although I haven't spent a lot of time with the B2 in injector mode. And yeah. that's something that I need to spend more time with. The B1 as well. Well, do you prefer to vape on a glass bowl? Right now, yeah. Right now, I'm preferring the B0 with a glass bowl. Okay, I'm just saying in general, because I prefer to vape on a glass bowl with these injector vapes. So I'm going to lean towards the ones that can just drop into my 18 millimeter, 18.8 or 19, however you want to call them, bowls. Love those. Give me an 18 mil male injector bowl, an injector heater, and I dig that. Yeah. Yeah. The Freight Train Pro, I'm excited to do a reach test with that one next to the B0. Nice, man. Is it out? It's not out yet. Mm -hmm. It's not available. But over over the weekend at PuffCon, I spent some time at the old head headquarters. I got to try, I got to try the, uh, the new Pro engine. It, you like it? It hit great. I want to try it next to the B0 to really yeah. compare, but I had no complaints, like no complaints. Like I, I compared the pro with the regular flower engine and it was immediately like, yep, the pro is for me. Fuck that other nice. thing. <laughs> yeah. That's great. <laughs> Love okay. that. And I'm not dissing it. I'm just saying like that level yeah. of restriction is a little bit too much for me. Yeah. No, if he's improved it, great. I can't wait to get my hands on it then because... His old one is all, is already my favorite ball vape. So if he's already improved that, fucking great, man. That's dope. Right? Yeah, far fucking out. All right, cool, man. So for you, you've named the B0. What else did you name as a the desktop? B0 is the one that I've been reaching for the most. Okay. But after it fell off my desk and burned me, I brought the B2 in for its stand for its big heavy footprint because that yep. stand is not going to get pulled off the desk and that and that that this burn has changed my mind on yeah. this stand i used to see the stand as if you're like cool with spending a bunch of money for your experiences and you got the money the stand is a cool spend but you don't need it you don't need it after burning myself you might need it yeah I love mine, dude. I really do. I use all those fucking vapes on there. 
they have to work on it or i don't like to have them because that because of that and i know it's anchored i've had three on there at once doesn't move man that thing's fucking dope yeah big hunk of stand i like okay that. but how many desktops did you pick total i picked three and told you about two of them how many did you pick i picked one and told you about two oh okay right on the ultimate if i'm only gonna get one one desktop vape desert island type shit right on that's that's how i approach this let's say you approach it from what would i need to cover all my bases on a desktop level that's what i did and i found three things that i wanted so when i was trying to cover my base if i was going to have every vape i all, all i if i want to cover all my needs from all this shit behind me but i don't want all this shit behind me what would it take to really do everything? And embarrassingly, I couldn't, I have 15 vapes. <laughs> I should have, I'd like to break it down to four. And I'm sure I probably could if it was a desert island thing, but what if, what if you wanted to round out? Like, what if you're like, oh, there's other things I want to do with my, my, my desktops at home or other things I need. I'd add the B2 and hmm. potentially the Volcano Hybrid. Okay. If, if I'm grabbing more vapes for desktop vapes. All right. You and I are real similar, bro, because I went freight train herborizer and I have my hybrid on the desk here. Like the hybrids, the hybrid would be for me before the freight train. Because like I said, the train, I would break out probably 15, 20 percent of the time, whereas the volcano, I'll put in, I'll put in one of the main rooms for a season and we'll use it every day or like that shit will power the house. And I love that, dude. I love being able to just it's a bag. Everybody knows what to do with that. Yeah, I, I vape with some people who didn't have much cannabis experience recently mm -hmm. like they never tried cannabis and oh like, right the fuck on i didn't give them a ball of vape <laughs> <laughs> here guys I, take this wait I, let me put some extract on top <laughs> i give them a volcano bag that'll do it yeah and they enjoyed it they really they were wanting to do it again the next night so it's a good sign that's dope that's fucking funny man I just thought about the needs. Like I got my herborizer, which is my daily. I got my freight train, which gives me the Volve. That's my favorite. And the hybrid is, fuck dude, that's when we have needs. That's what I, that's what I need. You know what I mean? Like that, that takes care of biz. Okay. Yeah. So for me, like the, the B2 would be like my daily power. The B2 would be around for when I guess I want to get fucking stoned. Like that stony bowl. Wow. I, I think I might hit that tonight. Like later on, I got some blueberry kush. I got the, the last, the very most last nug of the blueberry kush, Jerry, right here. The last one. The very last one. Damn. I've been saving it. I've been trying to, I'm trying to save it. Get it out of this little, little bag. There it is. I'm pulling off the stem here. Damn, that's nice. That's all that's left, man. That's all we get. She still looks really good, man. Yeah. Now I'm going to vape some of this. Throw that in a B2. But no, you, I think you said B2. Not the B2, think, not yet. But no, I think you meant to say the B0 is your daily every day, right? Oh, yeah. That's what I mean. The B0 is my daily and the B2 is for heavier stonage with the shovel head bowl. Yeah. B0 with the glass bowl. B2 with the shovel head bowl. Stony, and then the hybrid if you're gonna go for a third round out. Yeah, the hybrid, probably for sharing. Plus it, it, it's, I don't know, it, that vape has a different, I don't know, reputation or class. It's hard to describe. Like when I vape with the Volcano, it always feels like I'm having a different type of weed experience than I'm usually having. Yes. Why is that, Troy? I don't know. I don't know. Like, even when we vaped those volcano bags, yeah, I was like, I've never vaped a volcano like this. But every time I vape a volcano, it seems to be in a situation like this. Yeah, it's, uh, it's got to be the bowl, bro. You look at every other vape on my desk. None of them holds what this does. And I'm not aggressive and I know it's a half gram every time. 
Yeah. So that half gram bowl is heavy duty and some people will pack more. So for me, there's just, there's no way around the fact that this bag is packed with most of the goodies of a monster bowl. You know what I mean? And so I think that's why I always get really, you just like you said, dude, it's different. It's different. You know what I mean? Yeah. And since with cannabis, set and setting plays so much into the experience and the high the volcano is almost a way to guarantee a different set and setting with your cannabis experience good point unless you vape on it every single day and then that becomes like something different you know it is your experience yeah yeah, yeah. now here's this blueberry kush bowl and there we go so that's what it looks that's like. Beautiful. Since the other weed was like dark green, purple, and it just wasn't very photogenic, even. Oh, wait. Yeah, it wasn't. It looked brown and second hitty. It looks that way, but it was fresh. It sucks. Anyway. That's all right, man. Get some of those. Cheers. I'm going to blow a bag that I'm going to enjoy here, man. You heard it here first. Jerry's going to blow a bag. I'm going to blow a bag, man. I'm going to blow a bag. <laughs> Motherfucker, man. Can't say shit around Troy. You know that? You can't say shit around Troy. Or you can say everything around Troy. Take your pick. But anyhow, he's always on it. I love it more. I'm sorry. I'm just. I, I think it's great, bro. Don't change a thing. I'm just fucking with you. Anyhow, I'm going to do a uh, one of the super bags, bro. And I'm refining my experience here. And I love those glass balls. Don't dump it out on you now. It won't um, fall out. Let me mix it up and I'll show you the mix. That's how, Sorry, what were you my, saying? that's how I pack my volcano right there. I get it like that. You don't want it on that side rim or that's where it's going to mash up and get all sticky nasty. So anyhow, and I'm not, I don't pack it tight or anything. Just keep it off that lip. But anyhow, I'm starting to back things off now, man. I'm going to do a bag with the app and i'm to the point now where i'm starting at about 340 or 330 or something and end at 395 or no higher than 400 and all the bite is gone man the bag is fantastic so i'm just backing it down to the bites gone look at that shit. that's what i'm talking about all right so dude you're zooming this in tight love it need a better focus but it's getting in there man that's like in Troy's eye close. Dude, there you go. And it's focusing. Wow, that's another universe right there, bro. No, almost. Keep there, there, there. Stop. Freeze. <laughs> We're in there, bro. We're in there. This thing needs to fucking get on oh, connected. There we go. <laughs> Yeah, so I start at 340 and end at 400. I don't know if that'll even show up, but that's what I got going on. And then there's a pump for seven seconds on the bottom and that's it. So that's a nice, tasty, yummy super bug. I'm gonna start that fucker up. I hope you don't hear any of this. I hope my crisp is working. If you hear it, let me know. I can't hear you, you're on mute. You've been on mute for a while. That explains much. <laughs> I've been talking for a bit. I've been feeling space going, this fucker won't talk at all. I'm going to carry this fucker all night. <laughs> oh, how long have I been muted? Damn. I don't know, man. Have you guys, how long have you guys been saying it in the chat? Anybody in the chat been saying it for like forever? Troy is muted at 10 11. Yeah, I think it was just recent. Do you hear this shit? No, I don't. I don't hear that. I'm on a 37. <laughs> I'm on a 37 second back blow. Total time to back blow. 37 seconds. Wow. Almost. Look at this thing. <laughs> you ever let one go and go? Yeah. It just it makes a terrible noise. Like yeah, that sound of that pop. bag like stretching. And I've never been able to make one pop, unfortunately. It just sits there on top. I'm the yeah. same way. I'm like, where does it go? I guess it just backs up. You know what I'm saying? 
Yeah, it makes a terrible sound, like with the, stre- the bags all stretched out and shit. Careful. <laughs> ah, you're setting them up for me when I ain't going there, Troy. No, sir. What? No, you're, going, just... you're not going for any stretched out bag. <laughs> <laughs> so the other thing I like <clears throat> is if your volcano bag gets a little harsh, you just throw it on a bubbler and you just press it down when you want to hit it. Oh, I'm soft. Because sometimes <clears throat> I get it <clears throat> at the end of a bag. And I'll also get it when I do a bunch of vapes like ring it time. Like all these are going to hit me on the back throw tickle. But when I get halfway through a bag and I start to feel that, I reach for one of these. Put it on any bubble you want. It'll fit a 14. This bad boy here. If I uh, take this off. You can press it into a 14. And then uh, just try to keep the fucker straight as you go through it. And it'll be easy to handle and you want to store it this way too. The bag will last longer. Vito That's taught me that. Said. But it's in the manual too. You know what you need, Jerry? A proper volcano bag. What, sir? You, you need one of those bag folders like they have at the factory. <laughs> oh, yeah. Can you yeah, imagine yeah. every time you vape the bag, you just stretch it out and put it on the thing and it, and then you just fold it right back into this package? Because I can, I, I always struggled to put my bag back into its package. Yeah. That's yeah, a tough one. Never seems to want to go back in the way it was. Like once, once you blow that bag, the one extra wrinkle. Yeah, it's strikingly difficult to suck all the air out of it and then fold it up in a way where it fits back into that little clamshell mm-hmm. fit and stays closed. Like the little thing. Always... You need their twisty thing too. That was cool too. The thing that rolled them up. Oh. Yeah, they had the thing that they had the thing that folded it, did that thing, and then that got put on something that rolled it up, and then it went in, or well, got connected, and then got rolled or something. But I saw it getting rolled up before it went in. I the thought plastic. it got folded like three way, like into a zigzag fold, like a double fold over, because it had to be folded in a specific way to fit into the thing. You haven't opened one in a while. I think, I think they're all still rolled, man. But mine are old. Like, I've got tons of them here, and they're just rolled up in the thing. You unroll them, and then it's... Are they rolled? Yeah. You want me to grab one and double check? If you want. You have one handy? No, yeah, there's... From, right your, down like, there. from your white volcano? No, they're right down here. Hang on, I'll grab one. Oh, they are rolled up. People in the chat are saying they're rolled up, too. Maybe that's why I can't get them to fit, because I'm folding them. MTV 9000 is rolled. All right. Jerry's got old bags. Yeah. yeah. How do we know that your bags oh, aren't old, Jerry? No, I can't hear you. What is that? Yeah, there you go. It's got the little roll there. I was rolling around to get the rolled up bag. You can see it rolled up there. Okay. okay. Good. Do you want me to take it out or is that good? No, I believe you. You don't need to take your bag out, Jerry. Do I need to unroll it here on camera? We don't need to unroll your old bag. Does everybody need to see me unroll my bag? (laughs) (laughs) Is that an old bag or is that a new bag? Hard to tell, bro. If you really (laughs) wanted a new one, I would have to go into the white box. I could do that, but they're the same. Okay. I believe you. I'm not going to, I'm not going to doubt your questionable age bag. Fucking wise Al wants me to roll it out. Love it. That's fucking great. Dude, congratulations. We're only 75 minutes in and we've already gotten through one of the categories.
What's up, Troy? Happy Friday, Jerry. Good to see you, man. Whew. Good to see you too, man. Good to see you too.